No flames on BBC Watch and Steve Smear, our profiles artist for tonight. We'll be hearing another tune from them in just maybe about half an hour, three quarters an hour's time. I think you can hear the Doves influence definitely there, but let's talk about another band who's going to be playing two songs in the BBC Watch Introducing Session Studio tonight. I'd like to say welcome to the Admiral Spook's Area of Adventure. Yeah. Hello. It's got the full name in and everything, that's, that's yeah, not yeah. too bad. Most people can't be bothered to say the full thing, can they? Yeah, oh, I must speak, must speak. Must yeah. speak, must speak. Must speak. Must speak. It's yeah. lovely to have you in again, because um, you're another band we saw, Track Factor, we were dead impressed with what you did. Um, it's kind of odd, because half of you are another band called Lago and Bargo as well, aren't you? Mm. So how does that all work between doing the different sets and, and how do you just decide what goes where? Well, in general, we play we play like kind of the same nights mostly, so it's it is just a case of kind of doing one set and then a couple of us do another set. So you just got to power through. Just got to go for it. Got power through. Going hard. Keep going. Yeah. Do you think bands when they just do one set a night, it's just taking it a bit easy? Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not. They're not pushing themselves. themselves on the same. No, you've got a kind of you've got quite a starry sound as far as it goes. You've got horns on the go. Was that? deliberate to, to get it so starry because star's not the most it's not popular at the moment really apart from maybe vampire weekend there's not much going on mainstream wise but is that just the stuff that you grew up with yeah uh, very much yeah very, <laughs> very much so reggae has always been a big <coughs> thing in the game for my head and um yeah yeah it's 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 what i've always loved it's what i it's what i want to be playing so it's really nice to be in a band that kind of we can do that like obviously i've played in a lot of bands through my youth, but we're not so good. Because uh, you're from Sideford. Mm. I'm a Chippenham man. We're you're Chippenham. Like, we're spread out. Yeah, yeah, go on. Which one's which one's Chippenham? Through Bridge. Through Bridge for me. So Chippenham, I know full well, not known for its raging reggae star scene. Through Bridge, <laughs> the <Nah>. same. So <laughs> where does it come from? Where does this reggae star influence come from? What happened? Just your mental really. No, I don't know. It all started first day of college. Like first day of college, <laughs> um, and we just kind of got put into bands, and it was us four. Uh, it started with Jake, Matt, and me, and we started a band. And then uh, not to really regret it ever since. Mm. I think everyone just enjoys reggae. I don't think you it's find something. Yeah, you can just you can just have fun. You can have fun with reggae, and that's what we want to do. We just want to, we're a band that likes to make people dance. That's our aim in life, I would say. And talking of making people dance, um, Christmas lights in Bath this year, <laughs> thousand people. What's that like to have that many people in front of you? That was cool. That was very cool. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was good. It was. It was interesting because, like, obviously, it's not really like a crowd that's specifically there to see our kind of music or anything. So there was a lot of like kids and old mature people fans. and mature fans. Yeah. Um, but no, it was really good. Everyone. Everyone was sound. Everyone was having a good time. So you weren't it having maybe a group of maybe sixty people who said, um, "We want big. We want big." No. There was a few, but was it? We got our cat kicked out. And Meat with a flying karate kick off stage. I actually nailed a punch and everything in the eye. You should only do that if provoked and in self defence. Oh, yeah. Or if not at all. So you take one out. You just yeah, yeah. heavily for that. Just give me the eye and then the evil eye. Pardon us, pink eye. No. <laughs> pink eye getting used. Yeah. Now, Jake, you're known, you're, you're known as being the kind of the front man. Um, in, in really West Yorkshire, being the man who 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 just gets the crowd going wow. and, and really is known as, as the energetic, full of full of character, full of personality. Do you feel like that when you wake up in the morning, or is it something you really have to work towards and, and just? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you now. Well, I've got a painting of my own face above my bed. <laughs> <laughs> it is six foot by seven. This is no word of a lie. Six foot yeah, tall yeah. by seven foot wide, a giant portrait of my own face. I, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of me. <laughs> I, I wake up and I think, good on you, Jake. Let's have a, let's have a brilliant day today. How would the rest of you manage to, to just, no offence, Jake, but part with it? No, it's fair. It's fair. Um, it's okay, you will. Yeah. I don't know. Have fun. I'm a funny guy. I'm just messing. It's just bad when he refers to joking as Jaking. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I do call Jaking. Yeah, Jake. I'm just Jake. Just Jake. Yeah, absolute geezer. But I think the best Jake in life do come from me, so <laughs> that's, that's why I say that. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> and that does come out in, in the way that you, you go on stage. But are there ever times where you just think, you know, I quite fancy writing a ballad? 
I considered it a few. I've co- I've actually considered writing like not not a ballad, but kind of slower songs. A rock more like a, a, I did want to write a <laughs> rock opera at one point. Okay. Yeah, it was called um, Gravel the Musical. <laughs> it was about one man and his crazy family obsession. But I I didn't really get around to that. No, I, I've tried writing like slower songs and stuff, and it's it's never really a conscious effort to write upbeat songs or dance worthy songs. It's just how it comes out when I write it. Really, it's just the style that I like. I like doing. Well, we're going to be hearing two songs from you tonight. Tell us what we're going to be hearing. Um, first one we're going to play is a song which you wrote called Rising. And then we're going to do a cover of a Pete Romanko song, Kiss 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 Kiss. Kiss. Kind of a mashup, really. Kind of a mashup, yeah. With, um, yeah, well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get into the studio. Right. We'll be with you in a 